near. I believe it won't be long. But the main thing is, are we watching and waiting, you know, for His appearance? Right. You know, uh, every day, uh, I ask uh, the Lord. You say you ask the Lord. Yes, every morning when I wake up, Lord, is this the day? Amen. Lord, is this the day that you may judge me? This is what I'm saying. Lord, is this the day that you're going to judge me? You know, a lot of people can judge you in this life. That's right. You know, say what they want to say about you. You know, and it can be either true or false. That's right. right. But I'm here to tell you tonight, when God judges you, it's going to be right. true. It ain't going to be no false. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because He is a great judge. You know, a uh, 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 new year, uh, 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 the old year's done gone, the new year's in. You know, uh, 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 and you, and you uh, sit back and uh, <laughs> I reflected uh, 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 the things that happened last year, you know, in our life. But you know, uh, as I was sitting down praying uh, after we left church on New Year's, I was sitting back looking uh, and asking God, you know, I I'm looking for something better this year. Amen. You know, there's always something better. That's right. You know, you don't have to be stuck in that same rut and routine. You don't have to be in that place uh, where you're just satisfied, uh, you know, going through the routine and, uh, and, uh, and the habits uh, that you get into. Well, this is my seat. This is my song. <laughs> Amen. Praise God, hallelujah. You know, but you sometimes you got to try something new. Right. You know, when uh, you work on them cars, you mechanics, uh, you run into stuff that's new. And sometimes you, you don't know how to handle it. You don't know how to work on it. Why? Because you got to have the right tool. There's things in this thing here every day I run into that is new. Uh, right. Raven, uh, and, and there's things I don't understand, but I know one thing. Uh, this is the right tool. Amen. This is the right tool that is leading and directing God me, and, and it will direct me on how to fix it. That's right. Praise God. When I'm in a situation, uh, praise God, and half the time it, it's me. <laughs> it's me. How many can say that tonight? Amen. It's me. It's not you, 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 but it's me. Praise God that you get yourself in those problems. And then you want to cry. Oh, Lord, why is me? What is woe is me? You know, I, I find out in the Bible it tells me, be content with what you have. Yes. We're living in an hour today that people are not content. They're not happy. They're wondering why they're not prospering. They're wondering why they're going through the things that they're going through. I can tell you why. Because they're forgetting about the one that makes them prosper. Amen. They're forgetting about the, the new thing that God created in them. That's right. The Lord was uh, dealing with me uh, on, on a, uh, a subject of a matter uh, about a, a tester. <laughs> You're overcome by your testimony? Amen. What is a tester? Uh, well, praise God, it's somebody, uh, praise God, that has a testimony, uh, praise God, hallelujah, that they walk down here on this earth, uh, and, and, and more or less, uh, you can't be uh, tested and tried, uh, praise God, until you walk that final walk, uh, and then you're dead, uh, praise God, and, and then there's an inheritance. Amen. Jesus Christ was that tester. He died, but he left us a promise, an inheritance. Amen. You know, when you die, uh, praise God, there's things that you're going to be uh, leaving behind. There's trials and tribulations that each and every one of us got to go through uh, down here on this life. Uh, praise God. But you know, uh, if we have Jesus Christ, uh, the one that instructs us, uh, that leads us and guides us and tells us, uh, praise God, of what we can do and what we cannot do, or shall most people say what I want to do and what I will do, they miss out. And that's the kind of society uh, that we're living in today. Uh, I'll do it and I want to do it. Instead of saying, God, uh, what will you have me to do? Amen. They walk in their own ways, uh, praise God, and forsaking the ways of Christ. Uh, their test, uh, praise God, is not, to, uh, it's not becoming an uh, overcomer, but it's being downtrodden. Why? Because they're doing it their own way. Sure. Right. And the world looks at them, uh, praise God, uh, in the eyes of, uh, of the world itself. Uh, look at someone that uh, professes uh, to be a child of God, and, and they wonder, uh, why? Well, they say they're so blessed. They say they're a child of God. <coughs> but look at them. They're no different than I am. They act no different. They talk no different. Uh, why? Uh, I said it this morning. Sin will uh, take you away from the language. Uh, it will take you away from God. Uh, it will get you out, uh, praise God, of the fellowship of Christ. Uh, why? Because you're partaking in sin. Yeah. And when Amen. you pay, partake of sin, what happens? Death. 
death. Then you leave a testimony. Do you leave a testimony to your family? You leave a testimony to your kids? Uh, you leave a testimony to the ones that you work with? Uh, praise God. And, and, and the hour that we're living in, it's so important uh, that you leave a great testimony. And that is the hope uh, in Christ eternal uh, that they can have hope uh, in Jesus Christ that, that God can help them. And it was only through God, Jesus Christ, that helped us. Right. We, uh, we uh, all in this place can say that we've been tested and tried. And we're still going to be tested and tried. I've been praying this year, uh, Lord, uh, open some new doors. Amen. Open some new ch channels, Lord. Uh, not only on the job or when I go to the supermarket uh, or driving down the street or the neighbors, uh, but Lord, uh, open some doors uh, that I can minister your gospel. Amen. Your gospel, not my gospel. Lord, let it be your way and not my way, praise God, because then I know I'll see results. That's right. Then I know uh, that there'll be heart change uh, people, praise God. Uh, when a man and a woman uh, or a child, uh, praise God, that's living in sin, uh, tells you they're beyond hope, uh, I'm here to tell you, praise God, with Christ in you and uh, the anointing of the Holy Ghost uh, through the Word uh, that He brings back to your remembrance, uh, there's hope. Yes. Right. There's right. hope. Amen. I was once in that situation. I, I, I thought I was no hope, Raymond. I was no hope. I had a testimony of others say, there's that no good gym. There's that no good alcoholic. There's that no good dope head, praise God. Cocaine, uh, pot smoker, praise God. Uh, hallelujah, that one that, that every time you see him, he's drunk. Never seen the boy so. But praise God, I, I knew there was hope uh, through prayer of the church, uh, through mom and dad, uh, praise God, through the saints of the church, uh, praise God, uh, and through the anointing, uh, praise God, that the Holy Ghost, uh, praise God, uh, that He changed my life. Amen. But it was up to me to hear the voice of the Lord. You know what we said, you can meet me and forget me. You lost nothing. But if you meet Jesus Christ and forget Him, you lost everything. Yeah. Right? You'll lose everything. You'll lose the most important, valuable thing in your life while you're down here. Amen. And that's soul salvation. Your home, your cars, your automobiles. Your children are precious, but Christ is more precious. Yes, amen. Why did he tell us don't get attached? God said, I'd have you prosper as your soul prosper. A lot of people's getting it mixed up today. That's they right. want to prosper and the soul not prosper. That's right. God said, I'll give you things and bless you that you can enjoy them. Well, uh, I, I got this and I, I don't like it. God give it to you bless you with it. Right. And it all depends how you use it. Most of all, it's a, how important uh, it is that you be thankful that you got it. Go look at some of these third world countries. <coughs> Praise God, they got to walk five or ten miles for a, 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 a bottle of water. Look two or three days for food. Then you'll see how grateful and thankful you are. Right. Look at the ones that lost their homes mm -hmm. through the floods and the fire last year. And even this year. And you stop and you sit back and you complain, well, I don't like the taste of this water. Ooh. I, I don't like the taste of this spaghetti sauce. <laughs> well, she cooked my biscuits too hard. <laughs> Come on now, this is, this is getting down to where we live at. This is where the flesh starts talking. Huh? Come on now. I know Teresa, I was telling her back here, she made steak hoagies uh, uh, today. And man, I'm not belching them things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just like sin. <laughs> if you're a true child of God and sin comes into your life, you'll belch that junk out. You'll want to get it out. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't taste good. Praise God. But when you get the God, Word of God in you, it tastes good. It tastes good. He said, see, taste, and see uh, that, uh, that it's good, praise God. Uh, Amen. Seek ye the first, the kingdom of God, and all these righteousness should be added unto you. Yeah. What are you seeking for? I'm seeking for God's kingdom. I'm seeking for the hope that we have in Christ uh, through Jesus Christ that died and, and gave His Son the church that we have a hope. Yes. You know, a, a drug addict ain't got no hope if he ain't got no hope of saying, hey, I want to quit. A mechanic ain't got no hope of, praise God, while they're fixing anything if he don't know what he's fixing. He ain't doing nothing but creating more disaster. That's right. Amen. I waited, I don't know how long, uh, our, our, our dump truck's been up there uh, 
And uh, 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 something happened to the rear end. Didn't it? So Bob, we had me pulled in there Saturday. And the moment of truth. <laughs> We're all going to come to a moment of truth. <laughs> What's going to be revealed in your life underneath your covering? Mm -hmm. He started taking them bolts loose. Word knows how to take them bolts loose in our life. He started taking them loose, and I'm sitting down there, and I looked at Bob, looked at me, he got to the last one, he said, well, here's the results. So he holds the pan up to it, takes the cover off, and out goes his junk. <laughs> you got to let that junk in your life use out. Amen. Praise God, and we got to look at it, and he stuck his hand up in there, and here come a bolt. Here come some more dirt, some gum, some more trans gear oil. And we're looking up, and I, I seen another bolt loose. And first thing Bob says, he said, I think this thing's got on a bind, Jimmy. <coughs> Sometimes we get in binds. Amen. And the first thing he said, well, I think you're going to need a new rear end. And he said, boy, these things cost a lot. And I'm like, you lying devil. I'm sitting there saying, no. Nope. <laughs> I've been praying for the last uh, two months. Lord, just let it be something simple. Sometimes you just got to keep holding on, Bob. You, you, your test, uh, praise God, your trial that you go through, well, praise God, you got to hold on. And he looks at me and he says, you know what? He said, there's nothing damaged. Praise God, hallelujah. Amen. Just a couple bolts came loose. He said, well, when we get in here Monday, we'll clean this thing up. We'll go buy some new bolts and a new cover for you. And we'll put it back together and try it out. And I'm saying, all right. <laughs> praise God, hallelujah. That's how I, I, I tell the Lord every morning, Lord, try me out. Try me out, Lord. Try me, Lord, and see if my testimony is lining up with your word uh, that I can tell others about Christ, uh, that I'll have a testimony that be pleasing unto you. What is a debtor? A debtor is somebody, when you die, well, if you owe money to them, praise God, that debtor uh, puts a claim on them. But you've got to be dead first before the debtor can obtain it. Before you're a debtor of Christ, uh, praise God, and His glorious, precious promises, church, you've got to become dead. Yeah. Amen. You've got to become dead, uh, praise God, not only to this old fleshly body and sin, uh, praise God, but you've got to be dead to this world. Sin will separate us. And that's what the Lord was dealing with me. There's coming a time that the debtor is going to get what he wants. And that's you. If you're walking according to His Word. And if you're living according to His Word. You know, it said the, the foxes are the ones that spoil the vine. Amen. It's sad to say, when me and Teresa were growing up younger in our marriage, you say growing up? Yeah, we was growing up into our marriage. We was growing up into our a spiritual walk. Praise God. Some folks are still uh, uh, learning how to grow. We still learn how to walk. Uh, but some of them are still in that child age. Acting up uh, like childish. Want to fight over this? Want to argue about this? The next thing you know, they drag their kids into it. The kids are yelling and fussing at mom and dad. Uh, praise God, instead of acting like civil adults uh, and children of God, uh, praise God, they're acting like the world. <laughs> and you know the neighbors can hear you. Why? Because you're raising your voice. I know when we go up to Raymond's house there, before I even get there, we can hear the TV. Me and Trix up there say, oh, it's loud. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby got on me on that the other night. <laughs> well, we just turn it up. If you can't hear what you want, turn it up, Dad. <laughs> they was in the other room, heard Teresa. Sometimes God's got to turn it up on us. God's got to turn it up on us sometimes, praise God, hallelujah, just to see how we're going to react. And you know, the, the, the funny thing is sometimes, uh, praise God, uh, we act stubborn. We act selfish. We act like, well, Lord, uh, uh, I can't do that. Lord, you're, you're asking too much. Lord, you're, 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 Lord, you're asking me to do something that uh, uh, I can't do. You can do with all things through Christ the strength of you. Amen. The Bible tells us. Praise God. You know, it's, it's like uh, being sick. The Bible says use wisdom and knowledge. Now, if I got a 102 fever and I'm 
snorting and snotting. You think I'm going to come in here and get everybody else sick? <laughs> That's how sin is, praise God. It'll affect right. everybody. Amen. You got some people don't care. They come anyway. Praise God. Either that, uh, you know what the, the Lord was uh, dealing with me uh, about our self actions every day. And Mark and Melissa, uh, I don't think they mind me saying this, but I don't know how many times they might have been on time for church. <laughs> I thought we were recording this. But you know, you get up two or three hours before you go to work and you make sure that you get all prettied up, praise God, and get to work. I like to leave early, Molly. Gabby knows that. You never know when you're going to get a flat tire or something. Hey, boss, I'm going to be a little bit late. i got a flat tire. Right. Hello, boss, there's a wreck. Praise God. That's just like playing with sin. You keep playing with sin, and it's going to get you in the long run. You keep playing around with your job and your boss, sooner or later your boss will say, hey, you know something? I have enough of this. No, we at the hospital, three strikes, and you were out. Praise God. You got a letter. Praise God. This is the letter that God gives us. But thank God that He don't give us three strikes. He gives us <coughs> more opportunities. But you know the main thing is when we fall short for the glory of God, we can ask God on our hands and knees. Don't wait. When you know that you've done something wrong, you may have said something, or if you just think and, you're, and you know, praise God, that you've done something wrong, fall down on your knees or where you're at and ask God to forgive you. Amen. Because you never know that opportunity may pass you by. And then the next thing you know, you're standing in front of your debtor. You know the, uh, the one thing about that debtor, Jesus Christ? <laughs> Brother Raymond, he's going to get it all. Man, women, children, uncles, brothers, sisters, they fight over everything when you're gone. And that's a shame. And here we are, true, true men that are supposed to be true men of uh, children of God and saints of God. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. And we won't even fight over the thing that's uh, most valuable, our salvation. Amen. We take it for granted. We think that we come to church Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, Tuesday night, whatever your church service night is, that, that we're all right. And then, we'll, we'll, like I said, we'll spend two or three hours getting up early and, man, can't be late for work. Got to go to work. I'm ready to go to work. And forgetting who gave you that job. Amen. Who gave you that car? Who gave you money to put gas in that car? And the Lord was dealing with me. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say it. Tie pay. Do you pay tithes? Ain't none of my business. That's something you can ask yourself. Because Lord already knows. Are you faithful in paying your tithes? Amen. But I'll tell you a little secret to something. You have not because you ask not. You have not because you give it not. You ever looked at it like that? Amen. Bringing you tithes? That, if you look at that, that's a commandment. You know, I always heard a pastor, pastor say, I think might, I'm not sure if it was Brother Gould or Brother Harvey, a J.D. Harvey. You know, you ought to be thankful. God could have gave you 10%. He could have took 90%. That's right. You ever stop about that? You think it's rough now? Try to get ten percent instead of the nine you got here. You know, I thank God. You know that uh, I can pay my tithes. Why? Because it's not only a commandment. I know where my blessings come from. I don't give. Now listen to me. I don't give my tithes to get a blessing. God already said that He bless me and supply my need if I'm faithful to Him and trust and believe in Him. And I know what God can do. So it ain't all about giving and prospering that they're preaching today. Praise God. If you want to prosper, prosper in God. Amen. See what God can do for you. But like I said, the world's preaching on prosperity and everything, but they're forgetting that the debtor, which is Christ Jesus, is going to get it all. Wally, when you stand before the Lord, Montine can't have it. Your children can't have it. They can't have uh, what you've attained in Christ uh, through your walk down through the years, praise right. God. Uh, when you stand before God, hallelujah, each and every one of us, uh, God's going to be the one to say, hey, mm, you done good, thy faithful servant. Uh, it wouldn't be something good to hear, but how many would hear the part? These are messages pre people don't want to hear today. They don't want to hear, hear about uh, uh, where their judgment lies at. 
Oh, pat me on the back, brother. <laughs> Leave my little pigs alone. I'll be doing all right. My little sins. Uh, praise God. I asked God this morning to, to forgive me. And at noontime, they're out. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Ain't changed one bit. Praise God. You know, I, I get in those cars up there at work and, I, I, and you can see the bottles laying in them. And you can smell the, uh, the reek of uh, reefer pot in them, skunk weed. And, and you see uh, all the uh, stuff of sin. And, and every time I get in a car like that, I thank the Lord for what He brought me from. I thank the Lord, Lord. <laughs> you paid a debt that I could not pay. You took me, Lord, out of sin. You delivered me and brought me, praise God. And now I, I can truly say that I'm going to meet a debtor and he ain't going to say, hey, look what you're in. He cleanses you up, church. But if you have your Bibles, I just want to read, read a couple little verses in uh, Hebrews. Hebrews, the uh, ninth chapter. Isn't God good? Amen. You know, he says we walk by faith and not by sight. Now, if you walk by sight,